Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. Today we're going to show you how to do corner drawers for frameless cabinets in Mosaic software. Let's get into it. Okay, so four corner drawers we're lucky enough that Mosaic has provided us a cabinet as sort of a base jumping point. And I'll just delete this one so you can see where it comes from. So in the Mosaic forums, if you f search for the latest update, scroll to the bottom, you'll see a uh, frameless V12 library, download that, and then import, import that into your system. There's I have several videos showing how to import things into your system, so check those out if you want to figure that out. But I'm going to say most of you probably already have V12. If you don't, go get it because there's a few bonuses in there. Uh, then you're going to want to set up your parameters. So upload your parameters in through here. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Rifle through my videos, they're in there. Um, but ultimately you want to get the frameless v12 library scroll down to specialty products there's this one called corner 90 drawers so i'm not taking any credit here mosaic preset this up so this is ready to go <clears throat> excuse me ready to go uh let's open her up take a look see so as you can see mosaic has added partitions let's go to the perspective view here so you have partitions here it is also datoing it into the top and bottom I believe um, it's giving you these drawer parts and it's giving you the fronts as well the only thing I had to do was put this little update on here if we go here <clears throat> and I adjusted the th the the width of one of the two drawers by the thickness of the drawer so that it just allows you to offset. So if they're like on an angle like this, you're uh, you're able to like screw in through that one side. So I just offset that reveal by that much. So if you go to the top view, you can see this drawer is overlapping there and we could just put a screw in there after. Technically that means you'd have to offset this rail to make it that same thickness wider. But for now, I'm just worrying about um, my first job I'm doing with these is a slab door. So we're just trying this out like this. So other than that, it seems like it's pretty much ready to go. I haven't ran this yet, so I'll touch base back once I get it cut. But I just wanted to put this out there because I know um, I've had a lot of people asking about this. And like I said, I take zero credit for this. I didn't do I didn't do any of this. This was all mosaic. They had this preset up. Go get it in their in their um, in their forums. So you know it's ready to go there. Um, yeah, I don't even know what else to say about this. Just go get the frameless V12 library, and um, other than that, it functions pretty much the same as a regular cabinet. And like I said, I'll touch base later on and let you know how this goes once I cut it in a few weeks. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.